all the chords that belong to the E minor key, we end up with seven chords. The E minor, F sharp diminished, the G major chord, A minor, B minor, the C major, and the D major chord. We can use these seven chords to write chord progressions in the E minor key. However, in the chord progression that I just played at the beginning of the video, I added a chord that doesn't belong to the E minor key. The chord was this one. So which chord is this? Well, first of all, it's a simple A major chord played with the third on the bass, the major third. We have the C sharp, which is the third of the A major chord. We have the A, which is the root note, and the E, which is the fifth of the chord. When a chord is played with a different bass note, it's called a slash chord. We have the name of the chord on the left, then a slash, and the bass note on the right. In this case, we have A slash C sharp. Now this particular A is probably one of the most beautiful chords on the guitar. With the B string open, it becomes a beautiful A add nine over C sharp. So the B string open is the ninth, and then the top E string open is another beautiful fifth. Now I took some of the chords from the E minor key, as well as this beautiful A major chord, and I came up with this chord progression. E minor, G, a major, A minor, B of B7, and back to the E minor. Now, it's an excellent chord progression, it's used in many songs, however, this way of playing the chords doesn't really explore all the beautiful possibilities that the guitar can offer. So what we'll do, we'll play the same chord progression, but we're gonna transform each single chord into a slash chord. So we're gonna change the bass note uh, of each one of these chords, except for the first one. So we're gonna play the chord progression like this. Now step one, familiarize yourself with the chords. The first one is the E minor. We have the low E string, the D string fret number nine, G string fret number 12, B and E string open. It's a plain and simple E minor chord. The second one is a G major chord uh, with the D on the bass. So it's a G slash uh, D and it's played like this. So we have the low E string fret number 10 with the note D, the D string fret number nine and the G string fret number 12. We're also gonna play the B string open and the E string open, which will make this chord a G6 over D. The E string open is a beautiful major six for this chord. The next chord is the uh, A over C sharp, A add nine over C sharp. We have nine, seven, nine, open and open. And we finish with the last two chords, the A minor um, over C, which is this one. We have the low E string fret number eight, the D string fret number seven, and the G string fret number nine. But with the B string open, we're also gonna add this beautiful nine, so it's an A minor add nine over C. Beautiful sounding chord. And we finish with the last chord, the B uh, seven, which we're gonna change like this. We're gonna change it into this chord. Uh, we have the low E string fret number 11, the D string fret number nine, the G string fret number 11, the B string and the E string open. Now this is beautiful, B11 with the um, D sharp on the bass. Step number two, let's add a finger picking pattern so that we can add more rhythm to the chords. Let's play like this. So I'm playing the chords like this. Thumb, index and middle on the low E string, the D and the G string together. And then I will play the B string and the E string and the G string. So I like to use um, the middle finger, then the ring, and then back to the middle finger on the, on the G string. But you can use the index as well on the G string, so. Then we have the bass note again, 
and then the B string and the E string again. So. Now we can repeat the chord twice or just one time. I like it to repeat it twice because it makes the finger picking pattern easier and a little bit more repetitive. Second chord. Third chord. Now we already have a bunch of colorful and beautiful chords, but we can make them even more colorful by changing the voicing of some of these chords. So let me play the example. So we're just gonna change two chords. The first one is the E minor. We have the same finger picking pattern and after I play the top E string open, I play the G string, but this time rather than just play the fret 12, I go down to fret 11. So. And I finish the finger picking pattern just like we learned it before. So with the thumb, the middle finger on the B string and the ring finger on the E string. back to the E minor and we're going to do the same thing for the G over D. It's the same chord, it's just we're going to bring the G to down to the F sharp. And then the A is the same. Step number four, let's add even more rhythm by playing the chords with a percussive technique called thumb slap. We're gonna play it like this. We talked about the thumb slap quite a lot. I'm gonna link all the videos down below uh, that you can watch if you wanna improve this technique. Let's just go right into it and let me show you where to position the thumb slap. Obviously guys, it's called thumb slap because we slap the string with the flashy side of the thumb. Now it's really important to understand where to position this thumb slap rhythmically. So it sounds like this. So we are basically playing the same finger picking pattern. We have thumb index and middle, then the middle on the B string, thumb slap, E string, and then the G string fret number 11 with a different voicing, the bass, the B string, thumb slap, and the E string open. So. Same thing with the next chord, the G. And we're gonna do the same thing with the A over C sharp. And the last two chords, just one round. When I speed up, now the last step will be very simple. We can use the same chords, but we can change the order, and it's kind of an awesome thing to do because it gives a structure to the exercise. So we're going to play the chords like this.
Now the chord progression is basically this one. I have the A minor uh, over C. And then I'm gonna move up to this beautiful chord, which we already played, um, which is basically the G, um, the, the G major chord with the D on the bass, but with the F sharp. Now in this case, we can consider this chord to be a D kind of chord. So we have the D, which is the root note. We have the beautiful major sixth, which is the note uh, B. We have the major seven as well. The B string open as well, and the top E string open. It's just a beautiful sounding chord. And then we go back to the E minor. And back to the D. Now you can literally just strum the chords. They just sound beautiful. Or you can do the same finger picking pattern. Or you could also keep using the thumb slap. So this is how we can take one of the most beautiful chords on the guitar and use it within a chord progression. Obviously guys, it's a beautiful chord progression, but it's also extremely challenging. Some of these chords can be quite stretchy and the finger picking pattern is rhythmically not the most simple finger picking pattern around. So really take it step by step and familiarize yourself with the chords, that's the very first step. And then you can add the finger picking pattern, the different voicing, and then the percussion. I'm gonna leave you to practice this guys. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you soon.